Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your bro Benzo back with a special kind of episode today. We're going to be installing Stop the Ped. I'm going to show you how to manipulate the files to make it work better for your game. And I'm also going to show you in game what all the menus do and all the functionality. This is going to be a kind of a long video. I do apologize in advance. Usually my tutorials are usually short and straight to the point, but I'm going to leave timestamps down below in the description and also in the pinned comments. So be sure to look out for that in case there's just a functionality you just kind of wanted to learn about. So be on the lookout for the time stamps and guys if this helps you in any way it would be the world to me if you can go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you're new let's get straight into it okay the very first thing you need to do obviously you need to have lspd far installed if you don't know how to do that make sure you watch my lspd far install tutorial for the year 2020 so you must get that to work obviously to get this mod to work we're going to go to Bajojo's website and uh, he has his own website. It's just Bajojo.com. I'll link it down below. And you can see he has all of his mods here. Really, really great modder. He's probably one of the best modders there is hands down right now in the LSPD Fire community. And once again, guys, I would highly suggest that you do donate to him. Even if it's like a dollar, I'm sure he would really appreciate that. You can, when you do that, you can do that with through PayPal, through credit card, whatever. I don't get paid for, for telling you that. I'm just telling you that up front. And also he has a really cool Discord channel. I would invite you to go visit that and then you can actually post questions in there and support questions and then also you can make suggestions he responds extremely well to suggestions and that's why i really love this guy so we're going to go stop the pet real fast and then we're going to read just a few of these things i'm not going to read the entire thing it's just so many features guys we're going to go over this in game so you don't have to really worry about too much of this but if you want to pause the screen you can kind of read on this and then you can see what the latest version is so it's kind of cool we're going to go down here we're going to go down to the mirror link but we're going to go ahead and download this it's a real quick download and we're going to get it onto the desktop let's go okay there's one more mod if you wish to download it you don't have to do this it just adds extra functionality to stop the ped allowing extra questions whenever you're talking to the suspects and whatnot i'll show you how to download this real fast if you go to my lspd fire links just kind of scroll down a little bit go to great plugins and then just go to bookmarks you're going to see stop the ped right there you can also get it from there which already showed you how to do that but you can get this uh, extra question mod right there it's called ultimate questions for stop the ped and then you can scroll down you can download that and i'll show you how to install that if you wish to install that Okay, to install Stop the Pet, it's very simple, guys. It's just like any other plugin. If you don't know how to install plugins, make sure you watch my plugin install tutorial for year 2020. It's probably the most up-to-date tutorial out there that's on the web. And make sure you go to your main game directory. I'm hoping you already know how to get there. And we're going to open up Stop the Pet right here. You're going to see there's a folder there, Stop the Pet. It has the Rage native UI. Uh, if you want to replace it, you can. Notice the um, modified date, uh, February 18th, 2018. That's the most probably up-to-date one there is. You can just simply drag and drop, you can replace. Really those things stay the same pretty much anyway. And then notice it has a plugins folder. I'm gonna take you deeper into this real fast. It has an LSPD fire folder inside the plugins folder. And then you'll see all these files right here. Now it does not mean that you're installing vocal dispatch or it does not mean that you're installing police smart radio. It just means that stop the pet is integrated into vocal dispatch or police smart radio whenever you're you're modifying these things. Uh, if you are using vocal dispatch or police smart radio. Now it is modified actually to work with grammar police really, really well. So you don't really need to worry about downloading extra mods for this. So we're going to back up. We're going to grab the plugins folder. And it's going to merge into this plugins folder right there. So very simple, guys. Just drag and drop. Don't go into here. Just let it fall right into there. And then I already got some files already saved from past previous installations. Don't let it worry about it. If you don't get that, it'll probably just install it. Go to plugins. Go to LSPDFR folder within the plugins folder. And then you're going to see a stop the ped uh, actual folder right there. And then you're going to see a stop the pad DLL and stop the pad configuration settings. We're going to be modifying the heck out of that in just a moment. So I'm going to show you a few more things. If you wish to install the actual extra questioning, let me show you how this works. We're going to open this up and you're going to be going into this folder here, the stop the pad folder. So if you open this, you're going to see a plugins folder right there. Now you can, if you wanted to, back up here and just drag the plugins folder right into here. But if you wanted to do this, you can also go into LSPD Fire, go to stop the ped folder and pull it up. And you're gonna see it has these different things right here from custom questions and pat down item, items and pet answers, these kind of things. So what this does, if you go deeper, it actually goes into that folder. You can see how the pathway goes and it, it does stop uh, traffic stop questions and custom questions. So you can take these two files right here, and I'm not gonna do it, but you can drag and drop, and it will ask you to replace that, and then you'll have extra questioning menus when you're talking to the suspects. Okay, now before we modify the stop the pad INI configuration settings file, what we really need to do is modify one more thing in the game. It's super important, 
And that is because if you don't do what I'm about to show you, you're going to have overlapping menus. So LSPD Fire uses the E key to interact with suspects as well as stop the ped. So to get these keys to stop from conflicting, what you want to do is go to your LSPD Fire folder. Now notice we're not inside the plugins folder. We're inside a lowercase LSPD Fire folder and we're going to double click there. You're going to go to keys. Now this should open up in notepad. If it doesn't, go to right click, go to open with, and then make sure you select notepad. You can open it in WordPad, that's fine, but I'm going to open a notepad. It's kind of defaulted that way for me. I'm going to double click. You're going to scroll all the way towards the bottom and you're going to look for a, file or a little line that says traffic stop interact. And notice that it says E. Now if I left it at E and I got into the game, stop the ped menu is going to overwrite or is going to uh, overlap the LSPD far menu for interact. So we want to change that to none. So highlight the N or the E key and then type in the word none, just like that. It needs to, needs to be upper uh, uppercase capital N and then O-N-E, none. And then make sure you save the file, super important. And then we're going to move into modifying the stop the pet INI. Okay, to get to the stop the pet INI, what you're going to do is go to plugins. You're going to go to LSPD far. And I apologize, I got a lot of things installed here, guys. You're going to go to a file kind of towards, you know, wherever your file is, towards the bottom for me. It's a configuration settings. And once again, it is a, a type of file that, you know, it should default into opening a notepad. But if it doesn't, you know, like I said, right click and then open with, make sure it's a notepad or word or something like that. Go to stop the ped. And then you can see here, the stop the ped is E. That'll kind of stop the ped in their tracks if you're interacting with them on foot, but also interact with them if they're inside of a vehicle. Super important that you uh, modify the key I just showed you. So the context menu is the G key. Uh, the gun pursuit key is the T key. We'll talk about that more later in the video. Uh, to grab the, the ped is the T key. Uh, left control T is that's a shortcut key. I'll show you that in the video as well. To tackle the ped is uh, the backspace key, basically. And the sprint boost key is enter. Now you can change some of these settings down here to sprint longer. We'll get into that in just a moment. The search, the shortcut for search key is F10. And then the call transport key, the default is uh, for the number eight key and that'll call just a generic police transport to arrest the suspect or to take them to jail, I should say. Now they do have buttons. I'm not gonna read all of these uh, right here, but if you look right here, right down here, they don't have a really good shortcut key to pat down the suspect or search the body or search the vehicle and more to come in the in the, uh, the actual in-game footage. I'll show you that. And uh, so there's really none there. So you're, you're probably better off using the keyboard for that, which is the default key uh, for the short, shortcut is F10. Okay, now on to the stretcher model. Uh, whenever the ambulance comes, you can actually change this. Now, I happen to have already done this. If you guys want to see a uh, really cool installation tutorial on, it's called the Prop ID Bin Bag. It has to do with the stretcher model in game. It looks really fantastic. If you want me to show you how to install that, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to do that. I've already got this installed. It's going to say default. The default for the stretcher looks kind of, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of janky. I don't like it. So this is the, the, the actual uh, example that he gives you right here. Uh, that's only if you have the model installed. Don't do this if you don't have the model installed. You can leave it as default for now until I come out with a new video. Really cool feature here, guys. A lot of people ask me this question is how do I get, whenever I search a suspect or search a vehicle, how do I get it from uh, pausing the game screen and popping up that big old black box uh, that pauses game sound and everything around you and uh, it tells you everything that you see on the suspect in this big old screen. Uh, personally, I don't like that. So uh, you can leave this right here. What, what should I do right here? Force search results full screen. Uh, change that to no. Uh, that's just my personal preference. If you'd like to see that big old pop up in the game pause, personally, I think it takes away from the game. So I leave it as no. So make sure you do no. Okay, one more cool feature that comes with Stop the Ped. I'm definitely gonna bookmark this in the description and also down in the pinned comment section down below in this video is the Stop the Ped Advanced Flashlight instead of the vanilla LSPD Fire flashlight. Now what that means is if you ever play LSPD Fire, the flashlight does not work during the daytime, which is absolutely stupid in my opinion. If you go into a building, for example, and you're looking for a suspect and it's daytime outside, your flashlight still will not work. Well, this will overwrite that. It'll make it work and also the beam from the flashlight looks really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. You could actually read to show you how to do it right here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it personally. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight this particular line right there. Make sure you highlight the entire thing. Left control C, and we're gonna go back into your main game directory. You're gonna go to LSPD Fire folder right here. Notice we're not in the plugins folder. 
We're gonna go to LSPDFR, and then you're gonna see an LSPDFR configuration settings file right there. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do, uh, that should open up in Notepad, just like I said with the other, other types of uh, things that I got you to do earlier, is you're gonna open this with Notepad and you're gonna double click, and then you're going to do a couple of things. Now, one more pro tip, I'm gonna do this, is kind of sidetracked, is if you're having texture loss, guys, make sure this is false. And that's a little sidetrack here, sorry about that. If it'll default to true whenever you install this pretty far, and yours may be just like this right now, so make sure that says, false if you're having texture loss issues. One other thing to sidetrack us a little bit more, sorry guys, is if you're having a suspect steal a vehicle about every couple of minutes in the game and it distracts from your gameplay, especially if you're on a traffic stop and someone decides to steal a vehicle, make sure that uh, you, you actually use this line right here. You can uh, copy that right there. I may even include that in the comment section as well. But you can see that if you wanna just copy that exactly, make sure that says equals true. Uh, you can't really find that anywhere else except for uh, what I'm showing you right now. So make sure you do that. But we're going to go out right here at the very bottom of the line. We're going to do control V. We're going to paste that and notice it says disable fl uh, player flashlight override equals true. We're going to save that and we're done. These are some cool functions with the realistic weapon system as well. Uh, you'll, it'll show you what you're going to have right here. See weapon and then pistol. And then that's the flashlight that goes onto the pistol, which is pretty cool. It's uh, really invaluable, especially if you're playing in games, especially in the dark or whatnot. And then they have a carbon rifle. They have a pump shotgun as well. And the uh, reason why you can't see that in your weapon wheel, once again, it's, it's stored inside your vehicle. It also gives you realistic ammo. So handgun ammo is about 48, rifles 150, and shotguns 32. I think that's pretty realistic. So if you want to leave those values, you can leave them the same, or if you want to change them, you can change them. Okay guys, super important. If you watched my install tutorial of how to install the medical examiner van, the corner van, it's a black van, looks really cool. Um, I'll try to include a picture of it right here in this video, just so you know what it looks like. Uh, there's a really cool video that I show you how to install the corner van. So that has to be installed completely different uh, and you can go watch that video. I have that installed personally. So I'm going to change the speedo, which looks like a regular van to corner. And like I said, if you want to install that vehicle, go watch that video on how to do that. But also come back here to stop the pad because I forgot to tell people in that video, come back here and change that to corner. Uh, once again, if you don't have the corner van installed, just leave it as default speedo. Okay guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the installation process for Stop the Pets. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll show you what all these things look like and how to activate the menus, how to get them to work, and what they look like in game in just a moment. Once again, the, the context menu key is always going to be G, and to Stop the Pet, it's always going to be E. So if you don't like G, you can always change that. Uh, a lot of people ask me, what are my key binds? To be honest with you guys, I just pick and choose. I write down all my key binds, and then I go to my keyboard, and then I just hope I have an open key, you know, to actually do these things with and then also I have a razor mouse and I, I can do macros and then I can do special hotkey functions and things like that so if you don't have a really fancy keyboard or a fancy mouse my advice is write down all your key binds and then uh, start picking and choosing what's going to interfere what's not going, going to interfere and then that way it'll open the way that you want it to so that's the, my advice for installing stop the ped now let's get into the game let's go Okay, here we are in game. I'm gonna do my best to show you the ability to stop the pad, and I'm gonna to have to do a lot of editing with this particular video, so kind of bear with me. So one thing I do get asked a lot is about the weapon system, and a lot of people don't understand why their weapons disappear, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So for example, if you go to F3, if you have a simple trainer, for example, and uh, you decide that you want to, and you, you want to have a bullpup rifle. So you can see it right there in my hands, right? But watch it disappear. Okay, now there's a reason why it's doing that, and that's because you have weapon system uh, enabled through Stop the Ped. And if you go right here, that's realistic weapon system right there. That's the reason why it does that. And because uh, Stop the Ped is trying to stick to realism as much as possible. And so if you look at your weapon wheel, uh, you're going to have, you know, like a fire extinguisher, flare, you have a, a stun gun, and you have a flashlight. So that's pretty common for uh, police officers to have. And so what you want to do is there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, you can, if you wanted to, you can disable the, the realistic weapon system right there. You can press enter key and you'll disable that. And that way you can include, you know, you'll equip any kind of weapon you want. But let me show you another uh, cool feature that they have right here to just make this as realistic as possible. Go up to the trunk, you can press G key and you can grab a rifle from the back end of the actual trunk here. And so it makes it a little bit more realistic 
because a lot of police officers, you know, will store the rifles in the back of the trunk. Or say if you store the rifle, you can you can put it back in there again if you're after a call or whatnot. And then another thing you can do is go to the side door right here, and this makes it you know pretty pretty realistic. So if you you don't have to even open the door, you can just you go to here and press the G key, and you can grab rifle right here from the weapon rack that a lot of police officers have have back there. So now you have your assault rifle, for example, your carbine, whatnot. And then uh, now when you press tab key and it'll be there now, okay? So even if you get back into the car, it, it'll recognize that you have the assault rifle, I'm sorry, the uh, carbon rifle already equipped. So if you press tab key, you know, you're just gonna get your gun, but if you press your tab key and get your weapon wheel, you'll get the assault rifle back again. So that's kind of cool. All right, so we'll press tab key again, and then you can store it back in your car. It's totally up to you whether you wanna do that or not. So we're going to store the rifle. You can also store a shotgun. You can grab a shotgun. So that's kind of cool. We'll store it back in there. And from back here, you can also press the G key again. You can grab a shotgun if you'd like. You can replen replenish ammo, armor, and health, which is really nice. And then we'll go over the narcotics fill test in just a moment. So that's pretty cool. But once again, you can disable it if you'd like. And that way you can, if you decide to use, you know, like sticky bombs and and um, you know the Widowmaker or whatever you wanted to equip you can actually disable that and you can equip it all the time so we're going to go ahead and ignore that for now we're going to get on to the next part okay i'm going to show you another functionality to stop the pen you can walk up to any pedestrian and then as long as you're standing near them just double tap the e key and then you'll start interacting with them so the main menu for interaction with the pads is going to be the e key so press e again and then you can have a whole list of things you can do here. So we're going to go through the list pretty quick here. I'm going to do a little bit of editing so you can ask for ID. And by the way, sometimes depending on what model you select, if you have EUP or whatnot, or if you have just the regular base model, sometimes they will say Kiflum uh, for asking for an ID. And uh, if you do not like that, make sure you watch my uh, install tutorial for no Kiflum. So make sure you watch that. It's a simple install tutorial. It takes like five minutes or about 30 seconds to install it. So it's pretty easy. All right. So a nice little plug there for an extra little content from Benzo. We're going to press E key again, and you can actually request a pet check from dispatch. Now you can do this through grammar police, other things like that, but this is not about grammar police. It's about stop the bed. So we can request a uh, dispatch there by pressing enter uh, for a pet check. And then you can see there, she doesn't have any uh, warrants and she has a valid license, female. We're gonna press E key again. And then what you can do now, there's one thing you can do that uh, if you just wanna use in-game menu, you can do that. You can just press the e, uh, the enter key right here. You can go up to them and then grab them. And then you can kind of manipulate them wherever you wanna steer them. And then what you wanna do is press the E key again to release them. Now I found that the the hotkey function is a little bit better. And I, I want to say that I had some input in this with Bajojo. Um, that is that he's very receptive to, you know, comments and suggestions. And I had uh, suggested that if we can get a hotkey for different things like grabbing pads um, and then also frisking them and things like that. So you'll see that here in just a moment. But if you face them and then you just press left control and then the T key, and then uh, you can also use the controller, you know, the, the controller keys are in the INI file. And then that way you can steer them around to wherever you need to, just like this. And then to release them, That's it's crazy. the same key. You just do left control T to release. So it makes it a little bit more fluid, I think. And then if you want to search them for any reason, uh, you can press the, uh, the E key again. And then you can actually go, do, go through pat down menu. Now I happen to have a partner right here and that is through ultimate backup. That'll come with a different tutorial later, but I can also arrow over and just do it myself. Now, one thing I want to show you though, I'm going to call in a uh, female transport. Now this is through ultimate backup. It's not going to come with stop the bed, but it does have some functionality with stop the bed. So we're going to go ahead and get a female partner in here as well. Requesting female backup. And once again, Stop the Ped is really integrated with Ultima Backup. I highly suggest that you get both of these. So I'm going to do another tutorial on Ultima Backup. It's, a, it's going to be a really good tutorial for you guys. So you notice that my uh, female officer is in the back right there. And notice my partner right here. He has his hand on his gun. 
And that way you can kind of tell and identify who is actually your police partner or your police buddy, if you will. Even though the female backup is unseen, if I press the E key and I want her frisked, and I go right here to pat down, I'm going to show you what happens. I'm, uh, I'm going to do this intentionally. So I'm going to say, uh, just in case you make the mistake, like I've done several times in streams, which is kind of embarrassing. But if you press the E key here, notice my police partner, which is a male, is going to search her. And I don't want that to happen. So if you happen to call female backup, this is what you do. All right, so now we're going to pretend that didn't happen. So we're going to press the E key again. And then what you're going to want to do down here is right here at the menu key, it's at the bottom where it says switch guarding buddy. Press the enter key right there. You'll notice a female will come up to the pedestrian right there. And notice that one's kind of hanging out in the background, but she has her hand on her invisible weapon right there. Uh, press the E key again, and now you can go through pat down buddy. And that's more you know routine for a lot of police agencies to have females pat down females. It doesn't happen all the time. If it's a really dangerous suspect, the male officers, you know, have full authority to, you know, to do that. Now she does have a baggie of unmarked pills. We're going to go through that in just a moment. So now what we can do is we can press the E key again, and then there's a lot of things we can do. We can have her sit on the ground. This works out what really matter, good, dude? especially if, uh, and I don't know about you, but uh, around my uh, neck of the woods here in North Texas. I see a lot of police officers that pull over a vehicle and they have like three teenagers sitting on the ground. So I think that's a really cool feature that he had it in there. And another thing you can do is press the E key again. You can still communicate with her. So if you forgot her name, you can do right there at the top of the request pad check what? to dispatch. Make sure you're standing a little bit closer. And then you can press the enter key. Sorry, and then you can get her name again without having to have her stand up and all that stuff. And then you can check her ID, you can check warrant status. So if you have three or four people laying or sitting on the ground right here, you can actually get their IDs that way as well. You can press the E key again, and then you can start questioning them. For example, you can say, have you had anything to drink? I'm not gonna go through the entire menu. And you can see right there, she says, I'm sharp as an eagle, no alcohol in my blood. And you know, you can do all kinds of things. You can say, do you have a warrant? Or actually, how about, do you live in this neighborhood? So no, I live up north. And then you can say, do you have questions? There's a lot of things you can do here. Uh, how much did you have to drink? She said, just a sip of bourbon, you know. Why are your eyes red? My eyes are always red. I think it's normal. You know, things like that. I'm not going to go through the whole, whole thing there. And so uh, if you want to switch buddies again, you can actually do that. But for now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the female. And then I'm going to press the backspace key, get rid of the menu. And then you can press the E key again. You can go ahead and get her back up because we're going to do some more things to this lovely suspect that's cooperating very well. Uh, you can press the uh, E key again. And notice how she's not talking back. Um, you notice how she is being complacent and there's no verbal commands coming out of her or, or being confrontational. I, I do believe Stop the Pad muted that. It's through ComPed and things like that. So that's kind of a cool feature as well. And so you can also question through here what we just did. And then you can also do a Build sobriety test. We're going to go through these really quick here and uh, we'll see if she passes this. And then we're going to do have her do a horizontal gaze. She's not supposed to move her head, which she's not. So she's being, she looks like she's passing it. That's good. All right, and you can see to the left there it says passed. That's pretty nice. It says I should follow the tip of the moving object with minimal head movement. That's nice. And then we'll do a real quick walk and turn test. Now this one here, I'm a little bit kind of weird about because I wish Pajojo would add maybe a coordinates where you can face different directions, but I'm gonna try to do it like right here, the way my character is facing, but you have to make sure your character is facing exactly in the middle of where you want them to walk and turn. So we're gonna go ahead and have them do it right there. But notice how my, my character just turned to the left. So that's one function I do wish that Bajojo would kind of clear up. So if he sees this video, I'm hoping that he will clear that up. She's supposed to do heel to toe, but she's walking into a concrete barrier. So that's one little thing I hope that Bajojo will fix in the near future where we can do waypoints because Interaction Plus, uh, if you do the sobriety check through Interaction Plus, you can actually put your character anywhere on the sidewalk. So even if you wanted to go way over here uh, with Interaction Plus, you know, you could do it even in the grass or whatnot. 
So I'm hoping that Jojo will maybe correct that in the future, but it's a work in progress. He updates probably about every couple of weeks. So for making this video, he may have already corrected it in the next week or two. So who knows? So we're going to press E again. She passed that. And then we're going to do a one legged stand real quick. And she's supposed to stand on one leg, keep her hands down by her side, and then hold it up and count from 1001, 1002, 1003, and so on. And notice she's doing just that. She's passing with flying colors. She's going all the way to 10. No problem. She passed. Great. And then you can also do a breathalyzer. Now you can have it performed by the, it says buddy, but you know, we'll have the female officer do this this time. And then she'll do a breathalyzer on her. And the legal limit here in the United States for most states is 0.08% or less. And she's fine. And then uh, we can go up here and then if you wanna press E again, you can go to drug swab and say this time I want to do it myself. Tab over to the right, you can do it yourself. And it's going to uh, check for about seven or eight drugs. And some of these are non realistic guys in the field. They don't really, uh, can't, they can't check for all of these things, but it's just a, a game. So you kind of have to give a little bit of break, but they can check for about three of these things in the field. And that is a legit thing. It does take a little bit of time to get that back, but you know, it's a game. All right. So you can do press E again. There's a couple things you can do here as well. You can scroll all the way down. You can request a uh, you can request a taxi for her if uh, maybe she's stranded or something like that. You can request an Uber, and if she's injured anyway, you can request an ambulance. So that's kind of nice. And then once again, you can always switch guarding buddies. Uh, you can dismiss her on foot. Uh, you can uh, have your your uh, buddy arrest her. Now for now, I'm just going to say detain. So I'll have my police partner here You're go ahead and detain her. Asshole. They always say the same thing, going straight to jail, but right now she's being detained. We'll let her arrest her. Very good. And then we're going to press E key again. Notice the common functionality is going to be the E key. Uh, I like to usually have them kneel down. It makes it a little bit more realistic. Now with ultimate backup, they will usually guard them. So that's kind of nice. Now she did have some unmarked pills. What you want to do is go to the back of the vehicle and then press the G key and then you can do a narcotics field test right there. And then you should get a little pop-up that says a baggie of unmarked pills. Now it's real important to note guys, the ped needs to be still on the scene. That's really super important. I can't tell you how many times I've messed this up. I've, I've been playing this mod for, for a long, long time. We stopped the ped and I still mess this up. So make sure they're still on scene or relatively close to you, maybe even in another vehicle if they're being transported. You have to have them still on scene. I wish Bajoja would really fix this because I feel if you collected the evidence, then I feel like you should be able to check the pills no matter what, you know, like uh, even if, you know, they're already been transported, you know, even an hour ago, you should still be able to check the pills and then, and those kinds of things. But I do understand that it can get a little bit confusing and you'll forget which pills belong to who. So I kind of understand the meaning behind why you did that. So we're gonna press enter key. We're gonna check this for different things. Uh, we can go down here and check for Molly's reagent, that's ecstasy, MDMA. We can check for LSD, fentanyl, and PCP. I usually like to go for Molly's first. It's a favorite out here in Los Santos, and that is positive. Got lucky. So we're going to press the backspace key, and then one more time, backspace key. Now, it's not uncommon to get two or three items, and you can go through two or three items with the reagents. It's kind of cool. All right, so she is going to go to jail for positive Molly's. MDMA and I won't go through the whole CompuLite system because that's a completely different mod. We're going to go ahead and stand her up and then another thing you can do, this is just my advice, uh, you can radio in to dispatch or you know you can, I do believe you can press the G key and you can, yeah you can call for a transport uh, for a suspect that way uh, but personally you know I use the grammar police but uh, that's not really necessarily at all because what you can do, there's a shortcut key you can press the, the number key 8. That is at the top of the keyboard. So if you press 8, Assistance required and from the females, because you know she was, she was called in, she will take them and not your original police partner because he's your police partner. So they're going to take her to jail. And like I said, I'm not going to do charges because that's through a different mod. She's already been searched and all that. And then we're going to get back in our patrol car and I'll show you another function. Okay, that guy just did an illegal pass, or illegal turn out there. So what you can do, another thing you can do through here, 
is if you get kind of close enough, you can do a plate check if you like. And so if you get close enough to the vehicle, you can press the G key. Let me turn off my hazard lights. And then so say you're rolling up on here, you can press the G key and you can request a vehicle plate check by pressing enter. It's an F620. Target vehicle license plate. 82 Sam Queen Paul 222. Target is 104. Okay, what I like about that is it uses the same voice and it sounds real nice, crisp, and clear. So we're going to go ahead and tag this particular vehicle right here and we're going to go ahead and light them up just for no good reason. Well, actually, they did an illegal turn there. Now, with LSP FAR 0.4, they will attempt to uh, pull over pretty good. Now notice at the top left of the screen it says the suspect has come to a complete stop. I'm not really happy with that. I'm using another mod called Custom Pullover and that is kind of a little snippet from Traffic Policer and uh, that's advisable to have if you don't have Traffic Policer. You're going to do left control R but once again that's a different mod and then I'm going to make a crash. Okay whatever. And then we'll stop about right here. And then another thing you can do is, we've already done the vehicle plate check, but um, we're going to press the G key again. And then, uh, let's see here what we can do. You can actually grab rifle right now if you know that uh, maybe it's going to be someone that's maybe wanted or something like that. So you can grab your rifle, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and grab the rifle. And you can see top left of the screen, you just grab rifle. So that's kind of a cool feature. That way you don't have to, you know, run around and try to, you know, grab the rifle from the back if it's a felony stop. Uh, another thing you can do is you can uh, store the rifle. Uh, you can request another plate check if you want because if you forgot it or whatnot. Uh, you can also grab a shotgun, those kinds of things. So that's always nice. Another feature that you can do right here, so say your traffic is extremely busy through here, which is not at the moment, it's not a good showcase. But you can slow traffic down. Uh, that I found very useful if you're on a traffic stop extremely useful because that way it slows traffic down to 20 miles an hour around you 10 to 15 miles an hour around there and that's actually very realistic because uh, here in the state of texas at least on the other states do the same thing uh, you need to slow down even if you're in the first lane and the officer has got someone pulled over on the shoulder of the road all the way three lanes over you still have to slow down 10 miles below the speed limit that's required if you're in a lane that's passing a police officer doing a traffic stop you have to slow down even further or you have to change lanes or try to change lanes if you can't change lanes and you have to stay in the same lane right next to the police officer that's pulled over to the side of the road then you have to slow down even further probably around 20 miles an hour below the posted speed limit so that's just a little food for thought for you there guys so we got it set uh, set on a reduced traffic you can also press the g key again if you're not happy with that you can clear traffic you can press the g key again and then apologize my g key is tied to my siren and you can stop traffic so you can notice there nobody's going to be coming down here at all which is kind of nice so if you want to do that that way you can always do that personally i like to do this and then i like to just slow traffic just like that so now you can approach the suspect's car we don't need a rifle all right then the interaction key uh, once again we changed that in the lspdfr ini file at the beginning of the tutorial so now stop the ped will take over with everything which i i kind of like because i like to have the extra questions and things like that and then please note uh, i do not have the extra questions installed with stop the ped right now because I chose not to do that for the tutorial, uh, but that is highly recommended that you install extra questions, and I'll leave a link for you down th at the bottom of the description, and I'll show you how to install that. Of course, I've already done that, but I'm actually recording this before I'm doing the other part, so it kind of confuses me. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and question this driver, and then we can get um, all documents if you want, if you just wanna get a driver's license or things like that, but I like to kind of get all documents. and then he'll hand it to you right there. And then if you look to the left, if you're really good about uh, examining this really fast, you can actually see what's expired, what's not expired, those kind of things. Sometimes it'll say refusal, uh, refusal to show insurance or things like that. That's because it's either uh, expired or suspended or something like that. So that's just a little food for thought. Uh, you can go to question driver real fast. You can say, have you been drinking? And he'll give you an answer to the bottom. It says, I need to drink, stay focused. 
uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, these guys can go. It's just uh, slow traffic, so I don't know what they're doing. Uh, you can say, have you used any drugs? I won't go through the entire menu process. And then you can also go through vehicle operations. You know, um, how about, why didn't you use your turn signal? We use that. Because I only use it when it's necessary. Okay. So those kinds of things. And then you go through documentation. You know, things are expired or, you know, uh, those kinds of things. Or why are you driving without insurance? Those kind of things. And vehicle equipment, I find this kind of useful. Uh, like this guy right here, he just hit the, hit the pole, right? So his left uh, front headlight is out. So I, if I wanted to, I could uh, press the E key again, and then I can question driver to go down to vehicle equipment, and then I can say, D you do know your headlight is broken, right? He says, please forgive me, sir. I'll fix it, right? Oh, yeah, I'll fix it today. <laughs> so when you go through underglow, he doesn't have underglow, but you can kind of see you know, where this is going. And like I said, I'm not going to go through the entire thing right there. Uh, vehicle operations, you know, we already went through that. So then you just press the backspace key to get out of that. If you want to do a breathalyzer, um, I really don't find it. Uh, I guess you could do a breathalyzer, you know, while they're driving. But I feel like if the police officer is pulling them over, there's a reason for that. If they really feel they're intoxicated, a lot of times the police officers probably wouldn't do a breathalyzer in the vehicle. I may be wrong, but I guess maybe if you're doing a DUI checkpoint, that'd be kind of cool, right? Uh, but personally, uh, let me show you what it looks like in the vehicle. It kind of looks a little wonky. A little janky. Looks like he's doing a toke, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, so he's negative, and you can also do a drug swab, which is, in my opinion, even weirder. And that's the arrow key over. So we won't go through that, but we can go ahead and uh, we can order him to leave the vehicle. And once again, you can give him a warning if you want. And he will not leave until you get in your car. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him to order the vehicle real fast. I'm gonna show you how smooth most of the stuff goes. Now he's going to stand there and you know notice he's still facing away from me because I have not interacted with him the second time. So what you want to do again, come up to the, uh, the driver here, press double tap E key again, and then he will actually face towards you. This is what I like to do, little uh, tips for me when I do my videos and streams. I go back into the menu again and I like to have him follow me out of the way. So if you're on a busy highway, this works out really good. He'll follow you back over here. Okay, and then you got to press the E key again to make them stop following you. And then you can press the E key again. And then you can go through the whole process, kind of what we did before with the earlier female. So uh, we're not going to go through too much with this. Uh, you can actually, and then down here, this is kind of cool. Uh, for uh, You can request a uh, taxi or an Uber ride. Uh, able to went over that. You can dismiss, foot, uh, dismiss pet on foot if you plan on towing the vehicle. Um, you can have them go to the passenger passenger seat, which doesn't make any sense because he's a sole driver So that doesn't make a lot of sense And so I can put him in the driver's seat if I wanted to but for now what we're going to do is um, uh, Let's go ahead and have him go on foot. They usually complain when I do this Okay, he didn't complain too much Now he's gonna walk away. He's not gonna get back in his car all right, so now I, if I wanted to, I can have his vehicle towed away. You can press the uh, G key, and then you can go through this this whole thing. You can do a uh, request a vehicle check. You can search the vehicle, which I'm gonna show you that right now. You can search it just like this by pressing, you know, through the menu key and press enter, but I'm gonna show you a quick and easier way to do this. Okay, so, uh, you know, you didn't have much in there anyway, but personally, this is what I like to do because it makes it more fluid, is press the F10 key and then it'll search it again just like that and that's a hotkey that I asked uh, ben, uh, Bajojo to, to uh, install for us so I'm glad that he really listens to you know people you know that are really uh, you know want to support him and I highly suggest that you do donate to him guys I'm gonna probably mention that a couple more times in the video but uh, he does respond really well especially if you're supporting him if you know what I mean so go to G key again and you can uh, uh, obtain plate number which is really cool uh, you can call a vehicle insurance company, which is also really cool. You, they'll actually come by and repossess the car, which is kind of cool. If you're real busy, you can also clear traffic control and make people move a little bit faster. Press the G key again. Um, you can request tow service right here. And then when you do that, it's going to it's going to give you an option to uh, do a small tow, large tow, or large flatbed. So uh, we'll do large tow truck. Uh, that's just my regular tow truck. Okay, we're gonna head over here near Davis. 
And then I'm going to show you a little functionality too with uh, Stop the Pen. So if you press your, get your weapon out and you want to arrest this gentleman right here, what you want to do is do if you double tap E, okay, he's going to get down all the way on his knees. Okay, and then he's going to put his hands on his head. Okay, a lot of people ask, you know, how do you do that? That's how you do that. So you double tap E when you have the weapon pointed at him. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and, and then if you, as as they're down, uh, try not to bump into them. Uh, press the E key again, and then you can arrest the suspect that way. And it makes it a little bit more slick that way. All right, and then what I usually do right then is I go to F10 to search the suspect. We'll see what he has on him. Okay, he's got a bag of marijuana and a small revolver. So this is actually perfect because this is what I want to show you. All right, so we're going to press E again, and then we're going to go ahead and kneel him down. Uh, we'll press E again, and we can request bed check from dispatch. Cato speed 8774. He's got a, he's going to suspend the license and outstanding warrant. Okay. Now I have CompuLite installed. Once again, this is not about CompuLite, but I was going to, I'm curious to see what his warrant's for. Right there. Simple battery. Oh, man, he's been arrested multiple times. All right. So that's not about CompuLite. I was just curious. And then uh, one more thing I'm going to show you real fast. Now we're going to go ahead and get him up. And then we're going ahead and do left control T to grab him and what you want to do is go to the back of the vehicle and you notice right there it says stop the pad you can put vehicle uh, put uh, put him into the vehicle re rear seat or you can release him I'm gonna go ahead and leave that selected and press enter key and then you'll open the back door and then he'll get into the vehicle okay now we noticed we we uh, collected some drugs and then also we had a small revolver if I'm not mistaken so press G key again and uh, we could do a narcotics field test, but I do believe um, it's just, it is what it is. It's, it's drugs. So it's not capsules, it's not powder, um, you know, it's not liquid or something like that, that we just don't know what it is. Uh, so the narcotics field test is only for things that you do not know what it is. That's why the, the field test is there to test for reagents. But if you press G key again, go down here to narcotics field test, arrow to the right, and then you can do a weapon serial check. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, open the trunk, and then you can see it's a small revolver. You're gonna press the enter key, and you'll notice to the left there, it says small revolver. Uh, it's gonna be Ida591386 Henry, and then it's valid, okay? So that is a valid handgun. Now, does he have a license to carry? And then once again, I'm, I can go ahead and get him out. You can press E key again. It'll get him out of the vehicle. And then I want to do it one more time. I don't think he had um, a concealed handgun license, but I think we could press G key again and we can do pet check. And I think it might tell us if he has a handgun license or not. Okay, it doesn't really say, oh, I know what it is. If he did have a handgun license, it would say it below that. And so he does not have one. And just to confirm, I'm gonna pull up my CompuLite, which has nothing to do with this mod and I guarantee he does not have a gun permit. You can see right there. So if they have a gun permit, guys, uh, it will show below uh, the pet check. So I just want to kind of confirm that. And then I uh, will press the left control T again, getting back into the vehicle. Press the enter key. And then we're going to go ahead and close the door. We're going to get back in here. And then I'll go through uh, ultimate backup, show you about police partners at another time. We'll do if this if this gets a lot of views and a lot of likes and these kinds of things. I know it's a long tutorial, guys, and I apologize. There's just so much functionality with Stop the Pet, it is crazy. So if it gets a lot of likes and things like that, I'll probably do ultimate backup. If it doesn't get a lot of likes, people are not really watching it, I probably won't do it. So make sure you do smash the like button, guys. So one thing you can do is uh, this is why you do not need a rest manager anymore because Stop the Pet does everything that arrest manager does as well. So if you press you, the number pad, I'm sorry, strike that. If you pass the zero key on your keyboard at the top, watch the bottom left of the map. You'll see a little waypoint right there. It's that little yellow waypoint. That'll guide you to the, the nearest jail point. So we'll take him to jail real fast. 
Okay, we're gonna go into the Davis police station here. And we're gonna park right here. And then you'll get an option whether to take them down yourself. You can drop them off. And once again, this is stop the ped. So you can escort them down by yourself. We'll go ahead and do that. You can also cancel a drop off, which is kind of cool. And once again, left control T. I like to grab them like that. Makes it a little bit easier than setting going through menus, you know. And then I'll show you something that's really important. Apologize, dumbass. We're gonna do left control T to release. Press the E key again. And then I like to arrow up to get to let go. So when you let them go, you're not they're not gonna leave the gel cell. So to go ahead and just release their handcuffs. And then they usually complain right about here. There you go. And then they'll just stay in there. And once again, if you forgot to pat them down, if you want to pat them down one more time, you can press the F10 key and then, uh, oh, okay, so I'm glad I did this. So for some reason, it's not rec recognizing him again. So if, if that happens, if you get like an error sign, see, watch the top left, cannot find stop ped, or it says dead ped or empty vehicle search, whatever, ha you know, what have you. If you press the E key, again, he's gonna face towards you now you can actually do that and notice he's got probably alcohol in his breath as well now press f10 that way you can actually interact with him one more time i don't know if that's a glitch or whatnot because technically i did grabbing but it may be because of the teleportation type of thing and it's always going to show that you know the baggie of marijuana is still there you know small revolver is still there and that's because that's what you had you know cre you know actually collected earlier and I understand why it's still showing that is just so you can see what was there earlier. But realistically, it probably shouldn't have been there, but you know, that's the way the mod works. It's kind of a good thing still, in my opinion. Okay, so now we're gonna get back out here. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Okay, another function would stop the ped and these unfortunate people here just accidentally fell down to their death. I'm not sure how that happened. So what we're gonna do is a couple things you can do is you can press the G key and it's kind of, it brings up another functionality because it, it's detecting dead bodies and whatnot. So you can search the body. It'll search the nearest bed. And then you can see what's on their, their person, which is kind of cool. Another thing you can do too is once again, the search function goes for the pedestrians that are alive, the pedestrians that are dead, and the vehicles you know that are standing nearby. So you can press F10 again and then you'll actually search them that way. It looks a little bit more fluid that way, in my opinion. All right, pretty cool. And then you can also press the G key again and you can actually drag the body. So you can go down and drag the body, press enter. It'd be kind of cool if we can get a uh, hotkey for that as well. Maybe we can mention that to the Jojo. And you can drag them, you know, wherever you want. All right, so they're out of the way. It works really good if they're in the middle of the street, things like that. Uh, crime scenes, typically you wouldn't move bodies, but you know, sometimes you have to do that. Uh, I had a video one or just the other day where I had a body inside the, the river. Someone assaulted somebody and they fell inside the river and I had to save their life and I pulled them out of the river and I saved them, so. All right, so we're gonna press the G key again. And then now, this is something important, guys. I wanna kinda let you know how responsive Bajojo is to his mods. Uh, I had done a stream one night and uh, I was telling everybody in the stream how cool would it be to be able to, um, you know, here, let me, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Okay, just found another willing participant right there. Now notice, you know, he's not shot or anything, right? So he's just knocked out. So the cool thing about Bajojo is he's extremely responsive to people that give suggestions. Uh, and, and obviously it's not sugar-coated, you know, if you if you do donate to him, he may be a little bit more responsive You know, that's just the nature of doing all these mods He puts hours and hours if not thousands of hours into his work So for her you can tend to pedestrian by pressing the G key and then go down to 10 injured now She's gonna be shot so more than likely she's gonna need to have you know CPR done So if we press enter key, it's gonna go through an animation where you're doing CPR, which is kind of cool Okay, CPR failed. And now, this guy, what you can do is press the G key and then tend to injure. Now, 
This is where Bajojo is very receptive to the idea of not doing CPR on every single person. Now, remember when Stop the Vet first came out, you had to do CPR on every single person, even if you just happened to accidentally love tap them or if you accidentally knocked them out or things like that. So if I go to treat injured with him, now notice what happens. Notice I'm not doing CPR. So he added that functionality at the request of myself and my stream, and we donated to him and he got this functioning within a week. So there he is. And then now one thing, you know, she's not gonna be responsive, so we can call for an ambulance if we wanted to, or we can call for a corner service. So we could do a couple of different things here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, for an ambulance, unfortunately, I don't think that you can do that through Stop the Ped. I really wish that he may add that in there. I don't see where you can actually do that. Uh, call for an actual ambulance. Uh, he probably should add, actually add that in there, but uh, I think he decided to make that through ultimate backup, which you can do right here. Uh, you can do, you know, air ambulance, first medic, responder, those kinds of things, but that is through ultimate backup, so that's why I highly encourage you to do that. But you can press the G key, and then you can call for corner unit right here. So we're gonna call for a corner unit. And then I may do another tutorial on how to install these particular cor corner models. Otherwise, they're going to show up in lab coats, which I think looks kind of stupid. Now, he's technically knocked out, so I don't know why he's standing. I think it's because they bumped into him. They're going to take pictures. Okay, I had to get another willing participant here, guys. Sorry about that, ma'am. All right, so once again, you can press e uh, G key, tend to injure ped. And once again, you're not going to be doing CPR because he's just knocked out which is kind of cool. And then uh, once she gets up, we can request an ambulance. Now, like I said, I don't think you can do it through Stop the Pit. I may be wrong. I don't see any functionality that you can do that. I know through Police Radio you can do that, but you can do it through Ultimate Backup, which is kind of nice, or you can do it through Grammar Police. I'm going to show you what it looks like through Grammar Police, which is kind of cool. Requesting ambulance. And, you know, I highly suggest that you do get Grammar Police. You don't have to have that for this mod. I'm only showcasing Stop the Ped, but I do want to show you one functionality with uh, Stop the Ped that we created in the INI file. I was going to show you the stretcher. Okay, he's going to give me a health pack because I'm a little bit injured from some other reason. Okay, so they're going to tend to her, and then notice she's going to leave on this really cool stretcher model. And then I might do a tutorial on the stretcher model, but uh, that's what I changed in the INI file to make it look like that. If I didn't have that, uh, the stretcher model looks kind of ugly, so that one looks a lot better. So I might do a tutorial on that. If you want to see a tutorial on the stretcher model, let me know, guys. I'll be happy to do that. Okay, we just stumbled upon a man that accidentally uh, fell down for some reason. That's right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press the G key, and then uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, since it's really close to the suspect area, or the person in question, we're going to try to avoid as much as possible. So what I want to do is let's slow down traffic first. They're still going to go around a little bit. And then what I want to do now is uh, let's clear traffic. And let's go ahead and stop traffic. Alright, so now we want to lay out some cones. So I'm going to show you this real fast. You can see how dangerous all this stuff is. Press the G key, and then what you can do then is go to traffic uh, cones right there, grab traffic cones. And it works really good if you have a model that has some really good cones in the back. Uh, this particular pack is an LAPD pack by Tactical Donut. It's a really nice pack. It has about 14 vehicles. So if you'll notice at the very front of my body, you'll see a little blue little haze right there. That'll show you where you're going to place the first cone. Uh, notice you can't do it while you're moving. So you have to be stopped, and then you can deploy cone right there. And we'll do this you know, fairly realistic, and then I'll kind of speed up the video here. Okay, if you notice that there's a vehicle in the way, is once again, you can clear traffic. And then these cones function just like, you know, solid objects, so they can't go through here. So this is one, one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, deploy a cone right here. And then we can, you know, once again, stop all traffic if we wanted to. 
Because a lot of times AI will try to bump into you, things like that. Fucking shit. All right, all right, just like that. And then what I like to do, is you could do a couple of different things for realism. Uh, you can go to the back of the unit again. This is just for realism. If you equip a gun, uh, it'll get rid of the traffic cone. Uh, you can go back to the back and then you can store traffic cones. It looks a little bit more legit, a little bit more rope play immersion, in my opinion. There you go. And then now you can release traffic again. And notice again, uh, you can't fun you can't uh, activate the G key if you're moving. So you have to be completely at a standstill. And then you can clear traffic control that way. And then they'll attempt to move. Uh, sometimes they'll get stuck just like that. Because these are technically, you know, hard objects, so they cannot break those, which is kind of nice. So they'll be kind of yelling at you and whatnot, and then you can kind of tend to the injured suspect uh, as you feel desired, just like that. And then another thing you can do too, so say for example you're not happy with this cone, press the G key, and then if you go down to uh, remove traffic cones, you can see it says nearest only, so you can remove that one if you're unhappy. Uh, see if I remove this one, he's probably gonna come through here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. See what he does here. Let's see what he does. And I knew that would happen. That's the reason why. That's that's one of the reasons why I don't want to do that. And so they technically will go around the cones, which is kind of nice. See that? It's pretty good. And uh, we can also do one more thing here. Of course, you can press F10. You can search the vehicle. And then notice the, uh, also with the search functions, I don't know if you noticed that throughout the video, is that we turn that off because I don't like the whole screen to be paused and the whole, the whole search function uh, to take up the entire screen and pause the game. I don't like that, so I have it go over to the left. So that way you can see it over to the left and we turn that off at the first of the video. Now we can press G key again and then we can call, you know, vehicle insurance. And they're just going to keep on coming through here because see that little gap right there? Now I have traffic policer installed. I can always get rid of the vehicle by like doing that. <laughs> That's true traffic policer. You won't see that with uh, Stop the Bed. They do kind of work hand in hand together. So this guy is, is legal for him to drive off. Now I've got everything kind of slowed down. So we're just going to go ahead and actually we are now everything's kind of removed. So if you want to remove all the cones, press G key again and just go to the right, remove all cones. And that barrier right there, I can just press J key and we'll get rid of everything. And then we can call again for corner service, which you've already seen. And here they come. Okay, we have an active pursuit here. I'm going to show you another functionality with stop the pad. You can press the G key, which is kind of cool. You can request a pit, which is kind of cool. So we're dispatch requesting clearance to perform this pit. It says you are not cleared to perform pit. That's because there's too many vehicles around us. We're going to try one more time. Requesting pit. We're going to try to request pit one more time. Okay, you are cleared to perform pit. So here we go. We're going to go up to the, to the side of him. Now we don't have a rain bar, so it's not very realistic. But for the sake of argument, we're going to try our best to mobilize the suspect here. Now, sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not. We'll try again. Now, I do believe you can change the successfulness of the pit through the INI, so you can always try doing that. There we go, we got him. So it took two times. And then one more functionality you can do is if he's kind of being cooperative, press the E key and hold it down. Just hold it down all the way, don't double tap, and he'll get down all the way on his face. Just like that. And since we chose uh, Stop the Ped to take over all arrests, uh, we can 
actually come up beside him here and then hold down the E key and then you'll rest him that way. And it looks really fluid. And then once again, left control T, grab him. Come to the back of your vehicle. And then you can also place him in the front seat. I don't know why you would do that, but sometimes, you know, you might need to do that. Okay, and let's say if you're out here driving in the country and then you accidentally run over a coyote. Oh no, coyote just got ran over. Hey, it's the sake of the video, I can't help it. Alright, so you pull, you ran over a poor animal, so what are you going to do? Press your G key and request animal control. Assistance required and, Grande and then animal Jeffers. control will show up. Okay, notice the animal control way over there. And then uh, they just happen to spawn over here. If they get stuck somewhere, you can hold down the backspace key and then any vehicle that's coming to respond to you, uh, they'll spawn closer. So this is the animal control. Okay, he loaded him up and the cool thing is, if you go back to the back of the vehicle here, there he is right there. He's actually loaded in the back of the vehicle. So that's kind of a cool functionality. Uh, let's kind of pretend that, uh, you know, it's a busy area. And yeah, maybe this uh, to the left of me or approaching to the left of the driver's door is not recommended. So what you can do is a couple things. You can go around this side. And he added something kind of cool is that the uh, passenger side window is down now. So you can actually question this gentleman right here through the passenger side door. You don't have to go to the other side. So you can press E key. You can go through the whole document procedure. And then he'll actually hand it to you from this side which is pretty nice. Okay, one more thing you can do as well, guys. We're gonna make this gentleman run, and uh, that is the sprint, key, the sprint key. So let me show you real fast. We're gonna have him run. And now if I start running, notice how fast I'm running. If I press the, the enter key, I'm gonna run even faster. Backspace key, I can tackle him. Once again, he's gonna keep running. That's fine. In all my years on the force. And then I'm going to try to catch up to him. That's easy. Keep going, man. No, partner. <laughs> My partner's running after him. So I'm going to press the inner key. I can get faster. And then backspace key. And you can tackle him right there. Just like that. And then your partner, because I have you know, ultimate backup installed, I can then tase him. Oh, I missed the taser. I can press enter key again. And you can change the sprint function, how fast you sprint, and then how long you sprint. So we're going to tase him about right here. Okay, after he, after he already gets hit by the car. And then we'll press the E key, hold it all the way down, and then he'll do a little animation like that, and he'll get down all the way on his face. Okay, last but not least. So if you want to release him, once again, left control T, release, and then press the E key again. And then you can either let them go or if you just want them to still stay there and maybe perform some other tests, arrow to the right and then hit enter key. Make sure you don't say let go because he will walk off. So arrow to the right, stay, and then I'll let go of his cuffs. And then he's literally going to stay here on scene. He's not going to go anywhere. He's going to stay right there. So then if I wanted to, then I, of course I could have him sit back on the ground. It makes it a lot more realistic. Okay, we'll make this car run away from us. So if you want to start a pursuit, aim at the car, double tap T. There you go. And now they're in pursuit. They're in pursuit now. This also works on foot. So if you happen to, for example, let's pull this guy out. Now this guy is not in pursuit yet. He didn't do anything wrong. But this is not an active pursuit, but watch this. A double tap T. Now he's an active pursuit. And then my partner probably will chase after him, which he is. But that's how you can start a pursuit is by aiming and then double tap T. Either a vehicle or a person. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching the installation process for Stop the Ped and the modification of the INI and the configuration settings to suit your game needs. 
So pay real close attention to that. And then also thank you guys for watching the feature content of Stop the Ped. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It did require a lot of heavy editing to make this particular video. So I hope that you do like the video. And then if you're brand new to the channel, think about subscribing. I release daily content, whether that is gameplay or uh, tutorial videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you to the patrons and the members of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are super awesome. And then thank you also for visiting the merch store with that is up and running as well. And then also guys, I would encourage you to visit Bajojo's website and maybe consider donating over to him, even if it's like a dollar or something like that. He would appreciate that. I donate to him quite frequently, and I think that you should probably think about doing that. You don't have to do that, but he does make the game a lot better for us. So he's going to probably continue to make great content. And that'll go ahead and wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe.